Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to a quiet morning with me in Amsterdam, a place where my 12th house sun gets to dream, where I live my mornings reflecting on last night's dream world rendezvous, recording the symbolism of my subconscious, shining a light on the hidden parts of myself. You know how when Uranus is transiting your 12th house, you're not going to get proper sleep because your subconscious is just very active. And I've been having a lot of vivid dreams when I sleep, but they never really seem to make sense. And they were just like a bunch of energies that's kind of screaming around my head. But recently I've been doing a hypnosis meditation before sleep. And last night I woke up in the middle of the night and I remember that I was dreaming about my past life. And it was the first time that that actually happened. And I know that it's a dream that I'm having about a past life because it, it's an extension of an Akashic record reading that I got in 2019 when I was in a spiritual fair in Singapore. I was having an astrology booth there. The dream last night was the beginning of the event that they showed me during my Akashic record. It was about a past lover. And I don't have all the pieces together yet, but I felt very emotional. And I, I'm a little bit, I feel this opening, but I'm also a little bit scared of what's going to come up as things kind of open a little bit more. So we'll see. And I might share more with you guys. I don't know yet. I feel it's a little bit, it still feels heavy in my heart. And maybe when it feels a little bit lighter, I will share more about it. As a projector, I like to take my time in the morning, so I usually make it out of bed no earlier than 8 a.m. And I make sure to drink a glass of water as the night tends to dehydrate me. And on some days, have our neighborhood cat join me. She roams around on the roof of our guarded house and she is so sweet. Greeting my manifesting generator partner who always starts his day earlier than me with loves and hugs keeps my heart so full. I get some morning movement in daily. I switch between yoga on some days, other days dancing freely or some qigong, sometimes a pretty intense workout. I ask my body what she desires and just honoring that and being present with her. I've been craving old school cereal. It's been many years since I've had them and I don't ever skip breakfast. Otherwise, I get nauseous and bloated the entire day. But my usual go-to breakfast are these homemade bliss balls. They are divinely delicious, healthy and vegan, made from cashews, dates, cacao powder and some cinnamon powder dipped in chocolate. They are a reminder that living a plant-based life can be so creative and wholesome. I also love a morning of hot matcha with some adaptogens. I find the process of making matcha to be so meditative and peaceful. I work online from home in our garden house, so on my way there, I make sure to connect with my lovely late winter, early spring Camillas and baby foxgloves. Last summer, she was attacked by white flies and almost didn't make it, but the winter has helped her recover and hopefully she'll bloom this year. In the colder months, I have to get the heating going early in my office, so it's become a part of my morning routine to make sure that I do that, so I'm not working in the cold. Hi! 
Hello, beautiful souls. I wanted to sit down here and talk to you a little bit about the idea of figuring out about my past life. And I was actually talking to my boyfriend, Aryan, earlier about this dream that I had. And I just feel really grateful that I have somebody that can really listen without like this feeling of like jealousy or envy or, or possessiveness or anything and just like really being open to hearing from me as another human being. I think it's just so valuable when you have somebody like that in your life that you can kind of fall back to. And while we were having this discussion, we were also like talking about, well, could you be that, that lover from my past life in the dream that I had? And to be honest, I don't know at this point. We both don't know at this point. And um, maybe we will discover more about it in the future and maybe not. But I really want to presence in this moment that I would only go back and try to figure out this past life part of me if I really feel like it is something that is affecting my current life. Like I said, I got an Akashic Records reading back in 2019 and I think that that message of the Akashic Records reading was really important for me at that point because it's about a past life lover and how I self-sacrifice for this lover. And at that point in my life, I was also just coming to a sense of self-love for the very first time. I got out of two toxic and abusive relationships that really damaged my sense of self-worth and self-esteem and the message of this Akashic Record reading. And the person who read it for me, they didn't know about anything about me, but they said things that made me reflect back on the pattern that I may have had in a past life where I self-sacrificed for my partner and how I was doing that in my last two relationships that were abusive and toxic and there was this element of self-sacrifice coming through and so that was important for me to learn at that point. The dream that I had last night about the past life didn't really have a message like that so at this point it felt like so when I had my Akashic Records reading it was the end it was how things ended and it did end with my death because I self-sacrificed. But the dream that I had last night went back to the beginning. It was the beginning of how I met this lover. And so maybe there is just this end and beginning, this chain that needed to be completed for me. And so it doesn't really feel like there's anything that I need to be working through right now. So therefore, for me, I would kind of just put it away for now because it's not affecting my current life and i want to be here in the now in this life as tan doing astrology doing all the other things that i'm doing with peaceful warrior rest women's empowerment having the mom that i have having the sister that i have having the partner that i currently have and experiencing this part of me that is fresh that is new that has just come here into this incarnation although being aware that there is the other part of me that was from the past incarnation but allowing myself to really explore this new seed that is being implanted in this incarnation for me is something really important too and so i think it's all just a very fun and interesting journey and i think it's important to take it lightly and i want to take it lightly i don't want this to feel like it's something really heavy and it's a baggage because it's not something I'm working through in my current life but if I find that there's like a pattern in my current life in my relationship that is somehow difficult or there's something heavy that's happening in my current relationship my current intimate relationship that I'm definitely going to go back to these past life memories and really see if it's coming from that if it has anything to do with that but otherwise yeah otherwise i think it feels like the chain is being completed and that's kind of what i'm sensing into and i just wanted to share that with you guys today because i love all the support that is available here in this space and again coming back to this place of honesty and intimacy with you guys i think that's really gonna be a theme um in the next current vlogs that i'm having i really feel like there's something coming through about this theme but if you guys want to comment below and let me know 
how you feel about this and if you have some experiences yourself that you would like to share i'd really love to read your comments and listen to you even though maybe you think differently than me in some ways but it's always always beautiful to just be open and to share getting ready for bed and I want to do another hypnosis meditation today it's gonna to be for wealth I'm really loving doing these and during these times of my life where I feel like I've just discarded all plans because that Jupiter Uranus conjunction is approaching my Sun on April 20th and I've kind of dropped all plans and feel like I'm living without any plans right now and that sometimes gives me a little bit of stress so I thought what a better way to soothe my stress than to sort of make these hypnosis meditations or just kind of like these more soothing meditations a ritual for me so yeah I will uh, see you guys later <laughs> 